In today's thrift store challenge, we are headed off to anthropology to get some inspiration for the upcoming new year and winter months. And then we are headed off to the thrift store to see what we can come up with for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The holidays are in full swing at Anthropology, and while I didn't take a lot of inspiration from Anthropology for Christmas, I definitely want to kind of spice up my space for the upcoming new year. And they have these really cool disco balls, but they're $42 a piece, and I find disco balls all the time at the thrift store. Most recently found this one at the Goodwill bins for under $2 started off by just disassembling it from the part that I would need to hang it from the ceiling because I'm going to turn this into a disco ball planter or vase. The first thing I needed to do was just remove those mirrored pieces that I was going to need to cover the base section that we will add a little bit later. Using a mask, I'm now going to use my heat tool and just remove this top section here so I can stick a glass face inside of there because I want to use real florals versus faux. You could also remove more and make it into like an ice bucket for the new year. I think that is another fun idea. I tried out several different lids to see which one was going to be best. Some were too big, some were too small, but the and this one was just right and it didn't have like a beveled edge like the other ones did. So I was able to just really easily hot glue and super glue gel all of these mirrored pieces in place so that way the disco ball vase would be able to sit completely upright. All that was left to do was just simply attach these two pieces together and I just did so using some super glue gel and it's held up really well. This project only cost me a few dollars and I think it looks perfect for the upcoming new year. Another festive touch I wanted to add was that I found these little disco ball ornaments so I thought this would be a nice way to be able to tell which drink you have and it gives this little festive touch to the holiday. In order to achieve an anthropology inspired look in your space, it's really important to incorporate a lot of natural materials. So when I found this really long driftwood piece for just $4 at the Hartville Thrift Shop, and while I thought it was very beautiful just as it was, I thought it would be really interesting if we made it into kind of like a ceiling chandelier with like tapered candles inside of it. So I started by drilling one hole in the middle of this driftwood piece and then spreading them out just about six inches apart. I made the holes that I drilled just about halfway through the driftwood, making sure that the candles would fit appropriately. In the future, I do plan on using the flameless battery operated candles from like Amazon, but for right now, I think that this looks really beautiful for the holiday season. A trademark decor element that I think is really special and unique to anthropology is all of the kind of little extra steps that they take to make something feel that much more special and unique. And that will just add a lot of personalization to your space, but you can also do this using thrifted items. So when I found this little trivet tray for just $4, while I could definitely use it as a trivet tray, I think it's so much more beautiful to place up on the wall as like a really special and unique wall hook. The only knob that I had that I liked for this project was black, so I just spray painted it gold and then I just super glue gelled that to this trivet, making sure that it was centered before the super glue gel cures completely. But overall, I think this is a really fun way to add some uniqueness and personalization into my space. Anthropology definitely carries a wide variety of different artwork pieces, and I think sometimes they're really influenced by more of a vintage aesthetic, but I've been seeing more and more this kind of biophilic design style on their website specifically, and I think that this is a really good way, especially if you have a small space, to kind of bring some life into the room. So I found this linen wall art piece for just three dollars i'm gonna grab some of this magnolia home green spray paint on clearance for five dollars i'm going to start by spray painting this wall art piece green so then that way the moss can kind of just fade into it this style of kind of this three-dimensional biophilic artwork i think is going to be a big trend in 2024 because it is supposed to enhance creativity and improve our overall mental well-being 
taking a foam brush and Mod Podge, I just worked in sections, adding the moss. One thing I found that was helpful was to slightly dampen the moss with just a spray bottle and water, just so that way it would really kind of sink into the Mod Podge and stay put. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough of the moss, so I had to go to Walmart and grab a few more bags to really complete this project. But I think it's definitely something worth trying if you feel like you could really benefit from this kind of an art piece in your space. Another thing I found at the Heartville Thrift Shop was this rectangular mirror for just $2.50. And while I could definitely use it as a mirror, I wanted a more vintage inspired tray for my dining room space. So I just taped off the frame and we're gonna go in with some watered down vinegar as well as some frosted spray paint. So I first sprayed on the vinegar mixture and then the frosted spray paint. I also added small amounts just based basically a dusting of some metallic oil rubbed bronze spray paint and then just dabbed off the excess of everything with a paper towel until I was happy with the end result. Another common theme you will see at Anthropology is a lot of textured pottery and it's not just like your pottery barn textured pottery. There is a lot of added details to these pottery pieces. That's not generally my aesthetic, so I always like to tailor it to how I actually like things to look in my space. And as some of you might know, the thrift store is definitely my favorite place, but sometimes it's just not the best deal. So I always recommend checking other affordable stores such as Aldi, Ross, Home Goods, places like that to see what you can find. And I ended up finding this pre-arranged floral arrangement that was during the fall months, but it was just $3.69. So I'm going to remove those red eucalyptus stems and I'm just gonna add these olive stems for now. But what is nice about this is for the vase, I only paid $3.69 and I can just simply change out the stems as I need to when the seasons change. Anthropology carries a lot of beautiful options for wood decor and wood accessories, but they're oftentimes quite expensive. So I always recommend checking the thrift store. And one transition I think we're going to see in the upcoming year for 2024 is darker wood tones. So when I found this wood bowl for just $3, I wanted to make sure that it was food safe first. And thankfully it was because I wanted to use this in a really practical way to put either fresh fruits or fresh vegetables in the kitchen that can be displayed. With every anthropology I've been to, they all look a little bit different. Um, the one by me in Cleveland, their primary kind of decor thing that they like to showcase are all of the beautiful candles, but their candles can be quite costly. So I was really excited when I found this one here for just $5 that was brand new at the Goodwill. And if you watched last week's video where we talk about gifting thrifted gifts, and I found this really beautiful Victoria's Secret robe, and I made kind of like a spa basket but there was just one piece missing for me. So when I found this candle, I thought it was the perfect addition and really just tied off this gift. If I were to purchase all of these pieces in this gift box from their original retailers, I would be spending close to $150. But because I thrifted them, I think I spent $30 total for this really beautiful spa gift box. I think generally when people are thinking about anthropology, they're thinking it's all these bright colors and bright patterns, and they definitely have that, but they also have a lot of neutrals. And I love some great neutrals, but the key to adding them to your space is you have to then mix it up with your textures because otherwise, yes, of course it will feel boring if everything is the exact same color and the exact same material. I ended up finding two of these pillows here. This one for me was just, again, a little bit more my style than the mustard lumbar pillow. It was $15, which is generally more than I like to spend, but it was brand new with tags and it matches the color scheme in my space perfectly. A pillow like this from Anthropology can cost upwards around $60. So I think that it's still a major savings to shop secondhand. Probably the easiest thing to kind of dupe or find from the thrift store that is oftentimes at Anthropology 
is tinted glassware. So if you are a lover of tinted glassware and a lover of anthropology, before you go and spend $60 on a set of four glasses or tapered candle holders or whatever, I always recommend at least checking your thrift store because they do oftentimes have really similar and beautiful options. So for example, I found these two little vases that were just a dollar and 25 cents a piece. Also kind of in this category, if you find anything tortoise print, or if you find anything that is kind of these really intricate glass patterns. Here are a few examples of some interesting glassware that I found at the thrift store. So I found both of these. The tortoise print one was 50 cents and this clear glass one was just 30 cents, taking a thrifted pillar candle from the bins and it is a really easy transformation. And of course, if you wanted to kind of specifically make the candles a candle and melt the wax down and put the wick in the middle and do that whole thing, you definitely can. This is just a quick and easy hack if you're short on time. My kids definitely love anthropology the most and I think for them it's because of all of the influence from animals and they make everything just feel really playful and fun. My son is obsessed with that fox cabinet and my daughter loves this peacock table that they have that has like a glass top. So there's just a lot of interesting things there to look at and it just kind of makes you do a double take but you can also find similar things to that at the thrift store. So for example, I found this swan decorative piece for just 75 cents. I wasn't totally crazy about the blue. So I just spray painted the blue parts in this beautiful gold color and added some dimension with some dusting of metallic oil rubbed bronze. And this is the end result. You could also choose to add your soap back there or napkins if you're hosting, or you could even use it as a planter. And that really wraps it up for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which DIY or find was your favorite. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Bye for now.